Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ratnika and you have reached Natural Vibrations. Um, I have picked uh, the John, Hol uh, John Holland Spirit from Message card deck and I have asked the universe to give me cards regarding what we need to know at this moment. What do we need to work on? What do we need to know? What is it that's going on? That we, you know, the information that we need to know. Um, again, as I do all my pick the card video, you can either pick the numbers one, two, three, four, or you can put your hand over the video <clears throat> and pick a card stack that works for you. Most of them are single cards, some are double because that's what fell out and I am honoring spirit. <clears throat> Just letting you know that these are general readings, may not resonate with everyone. Um, do try to center yourself and before scanning them, I'm getting number two. Uh, also, <clears throat> uh, you can book a private reading with me in, if you're interested. All details are listed below or you can log on to my website, naturalvibrations.in. Uh, in. All right, let's start. Card number two, uh, number one, sorry. Card deck number one, we've got two cards. We've got dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It is one of those many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. So this is telling you that you need to start paying attention to the signs and symbols that are coming towards you. This could be in your dream world. This could be synchronicities. Whoops, sorry. This could be synchronicities. The universe is trying to talk to you and you need to start paying attention to that. The second card is the caregiver card. We are here with you. The spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives. Just as you've received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. Okay, this card talks about how maybe you have been really helpful and caring to other people. You've been like the caretaker. However, it is very important for you to also take care of yourself. You know, um, this is my, the line that I always say is an empty cup cannot fill another. So if you are not being taken care of, then how can you help somebody else if you yourself are feeling that lack? So maybe it's time for you to sort of take care of yourself a little bit and also pay attention to the signs because the universe is trying to talk to you. Card deck stack number two. Again, two cards. We've got support and soul solitude. Let's read soul solitude first. Your soul needs attention. There are moments when it is important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet. A place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, reflect, and a time for you. Similar message, it is time for you to do some me, have some me time, meditate, get a massage, take a little vacation, what are, whatever you can to connect with your soul because right now you are overworked and exhausted. At the same time, you've got the card support. People come into your life <clears throat> for, for many different reasons. Some you learn from and then they move on while others return often because you need to learn more from those individuals. Others remain beside you throughout your life. This is talking about how you're always supported by the universe as well as people in your life. Maybe some situation has come up if you look at the cards together. Something has come up. Maybe people from the past or situations from the past has come up and stirred some stuff within you. And that is because you needed to learn that lesson again. And that's why it's come because you haven't learned the lesson fully. Whatever has happened, take that as a lesson rather than be like, oh my God, why is this shit happening? Why, are these, why do I keep meeting these kind of people again? Why does this keep happening? No, know that there is a reason. These people are in your life for a reason. Take that and take some quiet time to sort of figure out what the lesson is and learn that. That is what they say because the cards have come together. Of course, it's also talking about the universe always having your back and supporting you. And that is too something that you can contemplate on in a, on a, in a quiet space. I'm just going to move these down to your space just in case you want to see the card. <clears throat> Card stack number three. This was just one card that fell out. What did I get? Oh, I got card number two, right? I've forgotten what I picked. I think I got number two. I need to also take some quiet time. Interesting. 
Card number three is hello from the heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show how much they love you, to prove they're with you at this time. Okay, I thought that maybe I picked three. I can't remember. <laughs> All right. What this, sorry for the glare, what this card talks about is again, signs and synchronicities. The universe is sending you signs. Angels, gods, your past relatives, they're all trying to talk to you right now. They're telling you that they're sending you signs to show you how much they love you. So if you're seeing synchronicities, if you're seeing things happening over and over again, certain numbers, certain situations popping up, that's the universe's way of showing you, the spirit's way of showing you that how this is how much they love you. So pay attention to that and be grateful. Last deck. Again, two cards fell out. We've got uh, ground yourself. I feel that everybody's energy is a little up in the air. There's about paying attention to signs and taking care of themselves, quiet time, listening to the universe, and now it's ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help ground yourself and to reconnect with the divine source. So now is a good time again. The grounding can be meditation. I just tried to meditate a little while ago. You can walk barefoot in the sand. You can try to spend time in nature. Whatever it is, it is time for you to sort of ground yourself and let go of that scattered energy. If your mind is scattered, you can never be at peace. At the same time, you've got to inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will, turn, will, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. Life devoid of passion can be very boring. Mm -hmm. So what this is telling you is that first of all, you need to find that passion. What makes you happy? And in order for you to find that, you cannot be in the scattered energy where you're all over the place, you're distracted, you're moody, you're grumpy. You need to sort of be centered. And once you get center yourself, only then can you inspire passion. Then you could figure out what works for you, what will make you happy in that moment. But you need to find that because once you follow your bliss, follow your passion, you will feel good. Because you're lacking that, you're lacking that passion, you're lacking that inspiration and you need to find that. But first, ground yourself and control that scattered energy and then everything will work out. Set new goals for what you want to achieve in life. All right, I hope this reading was helpful. Uh, I will be in touch soon. Take care. Bye.